On number one, it asks us to find the measure of the indicated angle to the nearest degree. So in this triangle, we have this right angle symbol that tells us that's a 90 degree angle. But we don't know this angle up here, and this is the one we want to know. So we can't use the triangle sum theorem and knowing that these add to um, 180 since we only know one angle. We do know that these two have to add up to be 90 degrees since this one's 90 degrees, but we don't know what one of them is to be able to find the other. So this is a trig problem. Since you're given all three sides, it doesn't matter which of the trig functions you use. You can use sine, which remember to use sine, you do the opposite side over the hypotenuse, cosine, which is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, or tangent, which is the opposite over the adjacent. So, ka, toa is the way that we remember those. So, remember you're always looking at the perspective of the acute angle when you're looking at opposite adjacent and hypotenuse. So, since we're wanting to know this angle, if we were using sine, the opposite side to this angle is the one that is 80. So the sine of our angle that we're trying to find would be the opposite side, which is 80, over the hypotenuse, which is always across from the right angle, which in this case is the side that's marked with 82. Um, if we were using the cosine, the cosine of our angle would be adjacent over hypotenuse. So from the angle's perspective, the adjacent side is 18, the hypotenuse is still the same, the side across from the right angle, which is 82. If we were using tangent, the tangent of our angle is opposite over adjacent, so the opposite side is 80. The adjacent side to our angle is the 18. So any of these will give us the same answer. Now to find our angle, we have to undo the trig function that is being done to that angle. Remember that's an operation on that angle. So we have to do the inverse operation to undo that. So to find our angle, if we're using sine, we're going to have to find the inverse sine of that ratio, 80 over 82. If we're wanting to find our angle using cosine, then our angle is the inverse cosine of this ratio, 18 over 82. If we're using tangent, our angle will be the inverse tangent of 80 over 18. All of these should give us the same answer though. You don't have to do all three of them. You just need one of them. Don't forget that when you are um, using your calculator to do trig, you have to be in degree mode. So when you go to your mode button right here, you want this to be highlighted right here where it says degree. So if you clear your calculator, your calculator goes in what we call default mode. And if you go to mode now, you see how radian is highlighted. So you have to scroll down and over to degree and press enter to be in degree mode. Now I can hit second mode to get out of that and I'm ready to do my trig functions. To get to the inverse sine, your sine, cosine, and tangent are the regular keys. And blue above them is the inverse sine, cosine, and tangent. So you have to hit the second key to get one of those functions pulled up on your calculator. So to get inverse sine, I'm going to do second sine. It brings up parentheses for me to put that ratio. 80 over 82 is 80 divided by 82. It doesn't really matter if you close the parentheses or not. Um, it'll give you the same answer. So we're rounding it said to the nearest degree in our directions there. So that would round to 77 degrees. It's the same answer we would get for the other two. If we did inverse cosine of 18 divided by 82, it would still be 77 degrees. And inverse tangent of 80 divided by 18 is also 77 degrees. So they all give you the same answer. It doesn't matter which one of those you use.